everywhere, not expect any, like quite dangerous everywhere. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, most of the places also have a lot of trouble. Yeah. As long as US is involved, there's trouble. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost, almost. Chu 我的工作和生活是连在一起无缝连接的并要有一份坚持并在从中得到启发，然后分享给我的伙伴们。谢谢观看我的一日日常。Hello, my name is Nucci. I am an MA business owner. Follow along as I walk you through a day in my life. So this is the view of Bangkok where I live. I start every morning with protein shake, so I will get 30 grams of protein. This is how I get my healthy lifestyle. First work activity of the morning, I get on Instagram and answer questions from my customers. I want to be the healthiest 80 years old, so every morning I start with stretching my body. I'm about to go practice golf after this. I normally practice golf almost every day. It's lunch time. I order Thai food. I use my personal story, my background as a certified personal trainer, and my genuine ability to connect to get to know my customers to help them stay healthy. Social media has brought visibility to my business. It has allowed me to connect with people globally through one click. My cats, Toby and Luca, are great actors for my post. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching me. Thanks for watching us.大家好，我是肖子成，我生活在中国的北京，我是安利健康大家庭当中的一员。Thank you, Weilun. All right, thanks, Weilun, again for always uh coming after long after his work hours and then always servicing our team. Thanks, Weilun. So welcome again to our Tuesday Pace meeting. I'm Bay and I'll be your host for tonight. So once again, I'd like to thank our founder Diamond and me and Janet for giving us such a great platform to learn, as well as giving me this opportunity to post tonight and being here with all of you and learning together. And of course, our meeting committee and leaders that always make this meeting a success. And of course, everyone of us here that is here tonight to learn together. Can we all put an 888 in the chat room and thanks everyone of us. Okay, so tonight, I'm sure we all already know Okay, we have a very respectable and professional guest speaker that will be sharing with us tonight. 
And Dr. Lim Suhan will be sharing with us on how the cancer cells and genetic effect. And of course, she will bring in some of the nutrition information. And I'm sure we will learn plenty from her later tonight. So we all know how important it is to take care of our health. So make sure that we invite our friends and family and prospect over and listen to her sharing tonight. But before we start, let me share on this month's promotion. Can everyone see my screen? If you can, can you put a one, one, one? Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's start from Malaysia eh, because we've got three countries here. So we have compacted the e -news gram. So if you're interested in any of the information you find today, you can always refer to the person that brought you here. Okay, so from Malaysia, we have a lot of promotion this month as well. So when we buy any five Neutralite products this month or a one Tropical Herbs Postnatal set, we can purchase, we purchase this very beautiful two-in-one blanket pillow Neutralite, okay, at 20 ringgit. And it's actually worth 150 ringgit. So uh, it's also very suitable because it's year-end now, what not. A lot of people is coming around to stay over or going off to stay over. So this is a very good time to get this blanket and pillow. Eh? And it's a perfect gift for the year-end as well. Then there's this new limited edition bundle, Turbo Edition. And of course, our XS in Malaysia is sold out, our uh, XS is night. But nonetheless, there's this uh, startup pack. If you can still get it, you can still get it. But for now, it's uh, not available yet. Eh? I mean, not available because it's sold out. Okay. And then there's this promotion where if you buy Body Key Jumpstart Kit, you get this one times Body Key Shaker. And purchase with purchase, you can get at 59 ringgit this chili essential hot dog. It's a collaboration between Body Tea and Soft Snap. Or you can buy the Neutralite Startup Pack Turbo Edition. And you can purchase with purchase uh, at 79 ringgit a ginger essential hot dog. And this month, when you buy Body Tea Jumpstart Kit, you can actually choose to purchase with purchase this very beautiful and sleek and also very useful in Body Down at only 600 ringgit. Okay, and the promo for the artistry as well have been extended. When we purchase any artistry five-day solution, you can see either balance and glow, hydrate and glow, renew and glow, firm and glow. You will get a gift with purchase, a hundred ringgit for your next purchase of intensive skincare vital collagen capsule. And you will also get a 50 ringgit e-coupon for your next purchase of any skin nutrition products, okay, except for bundle and set. So it's a very worthwhile promotion to get for yourself or your loved one. And this month, when we purchase the Glister Kit Toothpaste or Toothbrush, you will get a gift. We purchase this very adorable and cute Glister Kit anti sleep floor sticker that you can stick on the, your bathroom. Or you can choose the Glister Kit Jigsaw Puzzle for your kids to play with. And for eSpring, when you upgrade, you, you can actually choose to upgrade now because there's also a trade in program until 30th November. So, depending on what uh, water treatment you have, either it's East Spring or Water Treatment 1 or 2 or X brand that is worth 1,000 ringgit and above, you can have a rebate of a certain amount to purchase a new East Spring. And when we purchase this East Spring uh, Easy to Own Bundle or the Atmosphere Sky or Mini Easy to Own Bundle, we also can choose to purchase, we purchase this very good brand, uh, um, American Tourista Jackson Cabin Luggage with MW logo at 85 ringgit only. And the worth of this product is actually a 49, 499 ringgit. And for Atmosphere Drive, when we purchase it this month, there's a gift we purchase, which is a, this Honey UVC Sterilizer. And you can see there's a lot of uh, benefits of this product. So when you purchase the Atmosphere Drive that you will essentially need to keep your air in the car nice and clean and safe, okay, you can get this sterilizer, which it will keep it better, uh, safer. So wellness begins with healthier rice. I'm sure this one, a lot of people already have, and I can see even in TikTok itself, it's flooded with this in Malaysia TikTok, okay, because it reduces up to 41% starch. And this is actually the highest one that can reduce up to 41%. Most of it outside, they don't state how much percentage or actually lower than this. 
Okay, so it's only at selling at 670 ringgit, and actually you can get it tomorrow onwards. Okay, um, for the new launch, we also have this iron, very beautiful and very uh, good iron, uh, this Philips iron, and a lot of people actually like to own this, especially our Malay friends, they are, they are, uh, clothes are harder to iron, and this really helps them, especially now, they also have the 12 months installment uh, without uh, zero interest, so they can purchase this very easily. So when you purchase it this month, you can buy, uh, you can get a gift with purchase the clothes hanger wrap. And always it will always come with this Philips ironing board as well. So it's a very worthwhile purchase as well. And when you purchase the external water filter, you can also get this gift with purchase a non-stick marble stone pad. Now, moving on to Singapore, also have so many new launches and promotions, especially this very beautiful artistry lipstick. It launches already. So you all can get it either cream or matte, and it's only selling at $38. And then, of course, there's also this sheer lip balm, also at $38. And also with it, you can choose to try it out at Artistry Virtual Beauty app. And then for the Neutralite overall promo, you can spend a $300 on Neutralite products in a single receipt and you will be able to get this Jo Young Time uh, Collaborate in Line Friends multifunction hot pot worth only at, it worth $69, but you can get it only at uh, $18. Okay, trade-in program as well for the Atmosphere Mini and Sky. There's also trade-in program at different rates. Please find out more with the person that have brought you here. Same thing with the eSpring, also have a trade-in program. Okay, so for more details, always refer to the person that have brought you here. And for Singapore, when you join as APC and ABO, you can see all the benefits you can enjoy, and especially with all the vouchers, it's very, very uh, worthwhile to join now. So there's no better timing than now. If you have not joined or your friends are in Singapore and they would like to connect and get Amway products or join the business, always refer them to join as, and register as a member. There's also some um, experience uh, sessions, okay? So you can choose to have all these brand experience, consultant and premiums, artistry faces, appointment, and brand experience consultation for Neutralite. Uh, and you can have certain, you will have to meet a certain criteria. So find out more and don't miss out on how you can join and experience it for yourself. Okay, for 2022, there's also a free renewal for a new sign-up that have signed up in the previous year. So make sure if you have signed up in 2021, please make sure your team and yourself get this free renewal. And for Atomi as well, there's a buy now, pay later program. So there is more shopping convenience now. So find out what products you can get with this payment that you can split into three easy installments. As, uh, and also for sponsor and activate new ABO program in Singapore. Uh, when you sponsor, actually you get you can get this $20 e-coupon. So make sure you don't miss out what and achieve the criteria that is needed to get this uh, very good uh, coupon, uh, very worthwhile. Okay, moving to Indonesia, there's also launches of this uh, artistry lipstick. And here you can see the benefit of the lipstick. Huh? It's definitely very helpful to dry skin and just to make your lips healthy. Okay, and of course, there's also the acne serum. So you can use this to beat your acne problems. Also in Indonesia, they have the body key challenge going on. So make sure that you find out more on how to join and get the reward. So that's also along with it, the Body Key 7 Day Bundle, great for people that have not tried and wanted to try the products or good for traveling as well. Okay, you can purchase it, this small pack of Body Key and along with it, in this package is the high fiber of 15 sachet. Okay, so make sure you don't miss out. So this uh, the, uh, on 3 December, make sure you book down your date. There's this uh, event happening in Indonesia. Make sure that you lock your dates and attend it together with this expert, uh, expert speaker. And also they have this short scratch and win uh, promotion. Okay, when you spend the on neutralized product for 1.3 juta rupiah, okay, you just need to add another 89 ribu rupiah and then you can get, depends on your luck, get either one of these products, but all of this is higher value than what you paid. Okay, so it's a very fun and worthwhile promotion as well. 
And of course, you get when you spend in Indonesia, you also get the BNI reward point. All right, so that's all for the promotion. As I mentioned, uh, it's actually a compacted version of the promotion. Make sure you find out more details for, from the people that have brought you here. Okay, and that uh, comes to the main topic for tonight. Uh, this is, we have with us here, a honorary guest uh, invited by our founder, Diamond at Binsan. So we are very pleased to introduce today's main speaker, whom I'm sure we can all learn many from. Please note that if you have any question later on during the sharing, you can post your question in the chat and maybe we can do a short Q&A session. Later. Okay, so introducing our main speaker for tonight, Dr. Lim Suwen. She is the founding CEO of OwnCode Scientific Sunan Berhad, which is the first local precision medicine laboratory in Malaysia, founded in 2015. She obtained her doctorate from the University of Nottingham, majoring in cancer, molecular, biological, and drug discovery. Now, she has received multinational clinical and research training from numerous countries. Okay, and her experience working directly from cancer patients and physicians, she has grabbed the significance of cancer physicians, medicine, and to the extent to which it will benefit the cancer patient and physicians in their fight against the disease. Okay, so... However, the, this medicine is not available locally in Malaysia during that time. In order to change this, she has gathered her own team of professionals who also shared the same views of her and her goals and introduced a new viewpoint to the medical sector. So her team and herself has intend to connect the academic and clinical work by integrating expertise from all related fields into the company's product development and design and providing the physician with highly sensitive reader-friendly interpretations and accurately medical solutions to enhance the efficacy of diagnosis and treatment. And Dr. Lin is also a honorary associate professor awarded by the University of Nottingham and the president of the non-profit Global Associations of Genetics, whose purpose is to improve public awareness of genetic information and genetic testing. And today she will be sharing with us her knowledge and letting us understand how to really understand on this cancer and genetic mm -hmm. and cells and of course she is bringing in some nutrition information as well. I'm sure all of us will be able to learn a lot from her tonight. So with that, let us put an 88 at the chat and welcome Dr. Lim to share with us. Let me pass this to Dr. Lim. Um, yeah, thank you, Bay, for the introduction. And it's very good to be here today, um, sharing a little bit about precision medicine, about genetics with all of you. Let me share my screen. Um, can you all see my screen? Yes. Um, so I. Wait, one of you. All right. I think genetic has been getting a lot of limelight um, recently, especially after COVID. So I think a lot of people are starting to, you know, have a lot of interest in genetic testing in cancer. So that's why I'm also been giving a lot of talks about this topic as well. So this is what I'm sharing today. So um, if you all have any questions along the way, then you know maybe you can you know, drop down your question, then we can actually have a little bit of discussion towards the end of the session. So basically, um, what is genetics? So when we look at genetics, um, you know, literally, it is actually a branch of biology that studies genes, you know, it studies the variations in genes, and then it studies how certain qualities or traits are being passed down from parents to their children. But Genetics is actually closely related to every one of us. So it is in me, it is in you. So genetics actually define us, you know. So it is something very important that all of us should at least know the basis of it. So we, what, when we look at what is the composition of genes, so, you know, we always hear people say DNA, DNA, but what is DNA and then what is gene? So... DNA is actually, you know, uh, the octilobribonucleotide. You know, so this is actually uh, made up of this ATCG base pairs, and it carries information that actually um, make maintain all living things, including you and me. So these variants are what actually makes us different from each other. 
But we do also have to bear in mind that some of the variants can actually affect our health and also cause the onset of a certain diseases. So basically, there are two types of genetic variations. So bear in mind, a variation in gene that causes the gene to not work properly is actually called a mutation. So we always hear mutation, you know, like, you know, like Spider-Man being bite, bitten by a spider and then got mutation, got mutated and become Spider-Man. But in actual case, in reality, when you get a mutation, it's actually not so, you know, good of a situation. So a mutation, usually they will alter the gene message and so that it no longer send the right information to the cells. There are two types of genetic variations. The first type is actually hereditary, or we call it germline. So this type of mutation actually passed down through a family. And the second type of mutation is sporadic. It occurs randomly. So it usually, uh, you, you usually acquire this type of uh, mutation throughout your life if you are living a very unhealthy lifestyle, you know, like stress, you know, like stress eating, you know, not getting enough rest, um, you know, smoking, you know, all these bad habits. Um, may cause you to actually acquire some kind of mutation throughout your life. So as uh, I mentioned just now, two types. First type is a mutation that actually passed down through family. So it is actually from your family history. And this mutation actually occurs and present in all the cells of your body and it remains throughout your life. And the second one, you know, it's acquired it's because of your lifestyle, it's because of old age. So this type of mutation cannot be passed down to the children. So it only present in certain cells affected by the disease. So in 2003, so have you all heard about Human Genome Project? So ever since uh, the Human Genome Project has been completed, so this is like one of the biggest discovery in human history. So this has led to the birth of modern medicine. And because of this, it has provided a lot of new insights to scientists and gives uh, scientists immense new power to treat, prevent and cure diseases. So how can we actually apply genetics in healthcare? Basically, um, there are a lot of applications for genetic testing. Like genetic testing involves examination of your DNA and then it can actually reveal what are the changes in your genes that cause your illness or diseases. So why genetic testing? You know, people ask, you know, nowadays you will see a lot of advertisement even on, on Facebook or Instagram from everywhere. You see there are a lot of genetic testing going around, you know, advertising. So why genetic testing? So first of all, Genetic testing can actually guide your diagnosis of your medical condition. It can be a diagnosis. And then secondly, it can actually determine the medicine and the dosage that will be most beneficial for your disease. Or it can even rule out certain kind of medication that is not going to be useful for you because it's resistant because of your gene. And then, you know, you can also discover genetic factors that increase your risk to develop certain types of disease. You know, for example, like breast cancer, like colorectal cancer. It can also allow you to find genetic factors that could be passed down to your children, for example. And then uh, that another application for genetic testing is to screen newborns for certain treatable genetic and metabolic abnormalities. So these are all the applications of genetic testing. So cancer, we can move into cancer. You know, recently there are really, really too, too many incidents of cancers. And then we have been listening about, you know, cancer incidents from our friends, our family members. And cancer is a extremely horrendous disease. So, but how cancer form and then, you know, why one would actually have cancer? So maybe we'll actually just go through like a short um, slideshows and then we understand how cancer actually form. So the human bodies are actually made up of trillions of cells, we know, and then most cells actually have nucleus, which is the control center that actually holds the cells DNA. 
So the DNA is actually carries all the instructions needed to build our bodies and then maintain all functions, right? So each instruction is actually carried on unique piece of DNA with unique sequence, which we call a gene. And then actually cell grows in a process called mitosis, and it's actually a continual process controlled by the cell cycle. So there are a series of checkpoints exist throughout the cell cycle to ensure that all the cells are healthy. It's just like policemen. So when your cells actually grow, you know, divide into more and more of cells. Um, there are actually checkpoints to make sure that the cells are healthy. So if the checkpoints actually uh, find that the cells are healthy, so green light is given, and then the healthy cells are allowed to go through to the next stage of the cycle to really form cells. So the DNA in the cells can sometimes be damaged so either by mistakes that occur during normal processes in the cells, by hereditary, or by things, you know, impacted by your lifestyles or environment. So damaged cells are then stopped at checkpoints. So they are not allowed to pass and then they are, they are either being repaired or destroyed. So you know, they being caged away or destroyed, being killed. But sometimes the damaged cells can find a way to sneak through owing to the damages or errors that actually happen at the checkpoints owing to genetic mutations. So because of genetic mutations, sometimes the checkpoints can have error. Hence, the damaged cells can find a way to sneak through. So if a cell accumulates too much damages over time, it can also become a cancer cell. So these faulty DNA in the cancer cells may instruct the cells to multiply out of control at the wrong time, at the wrong place, to form a lump or a tumor. And so this is how actually cancer starts. So when we look at the statistic of cancers worldwide, you know, this I have been dealing with cancers for so many years, but when I every time I look at a statistic, it will still actually shocked me and I will still feel very sad looking at the statistics. So you see the worldwide incidence rate for new cancer cases, you know, it's just, it's, it's under 20 million for year 2020, but it is expected to increase to over 30 million in year 2040. And every year, there are nearly 10 million deaths that are actually caused by cancer worldwide. And this, number is expected to reach over 16 million by year 2040. So if you cannot imagine how many death is actually 10 million. So let me give you a comparison. So COVID has been with us for almost three years now, right? So the last time I checked, um, ever since the beginning of the pandemic, COVID has killed like about 4.5 million people across these um, three years. So we are all so afraid of COVID because you, you can die from it. But something that we are not aware of is that cancer is actually killing 10 million people every year. But because it is happening every year, so but it still doesn't mean that we can actually neglect this. So cancer is killing a lot of people way more scarier than COVID, right? And not just adults, you can see that, you know, um, 400,000 children develop cancer every year. But little do we know that actually 30 to 50% of cancers could be prevented, either by, you know, early detection or by um, a risk assessment screening, or even by just as simply as, as simple as, you know, changing your diet, you know, living a healthy lifestyle, do more exercise. Right? So um, when we look at how genetics can actually um, help in cancer management, we can actually see that genetic testing can actually impact at every stages of your life. So you can actually act as a guide on your roadmap of life. Right? So first of all, risk assessment, you know, it actually evaluate an individual risk of developing cancer. 
So if you know that you actually have risk of develop, developing a certain kind of cancer, then there are uh, certain steps and certain precautions that you can actually take to prevent yourself from actually uh, getting that cancer. And second, of course, early detection. So early detection, as we all know, you know, it allows better management of the disease. And third, precision medicine. I'm not sure um, how many of you has been exposed to this term, but precision medicine is uh, getting really, really a lot of limelight um, recent years. And um, doctors are actually you know, practicing this already in their clinical routines, where they actually help to find the right drugs for cancer treatment. And then after that, um, monitoring, you know, there are tests to actually monitor, you know, how how your cancer actually progress, how, you, how do you respond to treatments. Yeah, so basically, um, genetics have a lot of applications in cancer management. It can begin um, when you are still like a healthy person, or it can actually help in cancer patients and then can also help in the monitoring of a disease. So uh, we'll go into each of these topics. So cancer risk assessment. As we all know, everyone is exposed to the risk of developing cancer. But actually, in most cases, cancer actually develops sporadically, which means it develops randomly. It develops because of your lifestyle, because of your habits, because of um, you know, your aging. But however, you know, a person's genetic composition may actually cause them to, to have to you know, to be more prone to develop certain types of cancer, such as breast or colon cancer, right? Uh, and we also know that 5 to 20% of cancers are actually inherited. So through genetic testing, we can actually target prevention strategies for those high-risk individuals. And hopefully, we can actually prevent cancer altogether in the future generations of their family. So for example, you know, healthy individuals like all of us, um, the most that we do, maybe we just go for annual blood test. So annual blood test to make sure that we are healthy. The most we'll do like tumor markers check, you know. But will we actually go for colonoscopy? Will we actually go for endoscopy? You know, usually we won't, right? Because it's not a very pleasant experience. For me, at least I won't. But if you know that you actually have a risk of getting um, colorectal cancer, then, you know, this is not an option anymore. You definitely need to go for colonoscopy, right? So risk assessment actually will tell you what kind of uh, syndrome or inherited diseases that you have. You know, for example, like Lynch syndrome. So Lynch syndrome actually increase uh, a person's lifetime risk of colorectal cancer by 10 times. You know, normal people is just 4.5%, but, you know, a person with Lynch syndrome, it will increase the risk up to 49%, which is 10 times. And then endometrial cancer is actually at 20 times. For normal people, it's just 2.7%, but for one with Lynch syndrome, you know, the risk of getting endometrial cancer is actually up to 57%, right? And also, you know, Lynch syndrome uh, individual will actually have a lifetime risk of getting stomach and ovarian cancer as well. So by knowing your risk, you know, of getting cancer, you can actually manage it more appropriately. You know, you can change your diet, you know, you can plan your annual health screening, you know, what you need to do, you know, extra things that you need to do. You know, for example, like stomach cancer, maybe you need to add like another um, test for H. pylori, right? Yeah. And early detection. Uh, we always know, we always hear people say that if you diagnose your cancer earlier, your survival will definitely be much higher. So you can actually look at the graph over here. You know, the percentage of um, survival if you diagnose your cancer in stage 1 and 2 as compared to when you diagnose it at stage 3 and 4. So why people say, you know, early detection will save lives? This is actually, you know, the statistic will actually tell you why. So precision medicine, mm, we have to understand that there are many different types of cancers. And actually each type of cancer responds to treatment in different ways. But conventionally, right, we just, you know, when someone has cancer, they just go to the oncologist or hematologist and then they will just start the treatment. 
you know, chemotherapy and you know, surgery. So when they start the treatment, they are actually they don't they don't really know um, what is your response going to be. So most of the time, it's actually going through trial and error. So let's say they try the first drug on you, and if it doesn't work, then they will change to the second drug. And if the second drug is causing really bad side effects on you, then they will change to the third drug, right? So this, you know, is the conventional method. And sadly to say that a lot of patient, cancer patients eventually die, not because of the cancer itself, but because of all these side effects and all these um, treatments that has been causing them, right? Too much burden to their body. So we have to understand that every individual and every cancer has a unique genetic profile. So one treatment that works very well in one person may, may not work as effectively as in another. So the conventional one size fit all treatment, you know, that involves uh, try and error in search for the most suitable drugs, most of the time are pretty detrimental to patients' health. But thanks to the advancement in precision medicine, so FDA has already approved a lot of targeted therapies that could be applied you know, in a targeted way for cancer patients. So patients with a variety of cancers routine can undergo this molecular testing as part of their patient care. So to enable physicians to select the most effective treatments that could actually increase the survival rate uh, of a cancer patient and also at the same time reduce the exposure to side effects and adverse effects. So as you can see that um, a lot of uh, governments around the world, they are actually, you know, starting to appreciate the application of genetics, you know, and precision medicine uh, in cancer patients in their, in their government settings, right? So as they say that it's, it's so important to actually um, do genetic testing before you actually start the treatment, you know, bio, biomarker testing can be life-changing. So um, we often hear that people say that chemotherapy is bad, it's bad, it's bad. So some cancer patients say that I don't want to go through chemotherapy because it's bad. But actually, chemotherapy is, 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 not, is not bad, you know, it's just how we use it and when we use it. So the differences between chemotherapy and targeted therapy, uh, you know, we can actually take a look here. So I often like to use this picture to actually describe chemotherapy. So chemotherapy is more sorts of like a, a bomb, right? You you want to kill the cancer cells, but uh, at the same time, you are also um, killing some of the normal cells because uh, chemotherapy works as they kill the cancer cells uh, way faster than the normal cells, but they are also killing the normal cells. So generally, chemotherapy works by damaging uh, fast dividing cells because cancer cells are dividing at a faster space, faster pace. So um, they will chemotherapy will kill them, right? But at the same time, right, there are also certain healthy cells um, in our body that are actually growing at a much faster pace, right? So like skin, hair cells, you know, GI tract, marrow. So that's why a lot of people, after they start using chemo, they will suffer from hair falls, they will suffer from nausea, you know, loss of appetite, right? So chemotherapy is actually being identified by trial and error. And generally, chemotherapy, no doubt, it has more severe side effects. But when it comes to targeted therapy, so I always like to use a sniper as a representation representation of targeted therapy. So as you see, sniper it's very targeted. So it actually targets a specific pathways that the cancer cells actually has. So it will disrupt the pathway unique to the cancer cells. So it actually spare your normal cells. So it's specifically designed to actually target certain molecular target. And hence, that's why um, it has uh, milder side effects. And of course, for monitoring. So genetic testing are of course also useful for monitoring. So you can actually see the patient response to treatment. And then you can also check and see whether there are residual or tumor fragments remain in the body after your treatment. You can also know whether um, the cancer patient relapse, you know, or recurrent, or you can also check whether there are acquisition of new resistance uh, mutation because of the treatment. So once you start a treatment, 
after after a while, maybe resistance can happen. So it can actually show it in your genes that the resistance had, had already happened. Then you have to change to a different treatment, or sometimes new mutations could be acquired. So monitoring of cancer and their treatment progression is especially important as well, so that you can actually target cancer effectively. You know, cancer cells are very intelligent, they are very smart. So when you start your treatment trying to eliminate them, right, they will try to find their ways to escape it, to avoid your treatment and become stronger. So what you need to do that, that's why we need to actually keep monitoring what is going on in the body, what is going on with this cancer population, you know, so that we can always switch our weapon in order to target them more effectively. So this is why, you know, can how genetics can actually mm, apply in the cancer management, you know, from the very beginning um, to the very end. Well, I do uh, want to bring a, a point in, in like that, you know, uh, as I said, mentioned just now, there are recently so, so, so many um, DNA tests, so-called genetic tests, you know, you can actually see them advertising in your Facebook page, you know, Instagram page or everywhere else you can actually see them, right? But we, we have to know that uh, fundamentally, right, uh, this sort of consumer genetic has, has very different function as compared to the actual medical risk assessment test. So what are the differences? So um, I would say that the biggest, biggest difference is that a consumer genetic test uh, report will not tell you uh, any medical information. So your doctor or your genetic counselor can never make any medical decision based on your genetic report obtained from this consumer genetic test. Right. So this is like the biggest difference. So no doubt it's a it you know these tests are very fun. You can just go around and do do this test you know you can know even your iq from your genetics you can even know whether you have talent or not you know in music or something like that yeah it's, it's very fun you know but when it comes to serious illness you, know, you definitely have to go for medical grade genetic test because fundamentally both are very very different yeah basically um, this is my presentation so if you all have any questions do feel free to ask yeah, I see that there's this question. Can nutrition fill in nutritional gaps and prevent diseases? Um, I would say that um, yes, because, you know, um, ideally, we are getting all of our nutrition from our food, right? But as we know that nowadays, um, it's very, very difficult to actually get all the nutrition that you need from your diet. Um, you know, we are busy, we are all busy, we cannot, we cannot, you know, like really, really prepare our meals, you know, ideally, all the, the vegetables that we need, all the fruits that we need, you know, you know, to drink all the waters that we need, or even to actually obtain the, the adequate amount of protein that we need daily. Yeah, so, well, um, nutrition, you know, getting, you know, like fibers, you know, B complex, uh, vitamin C, or even proteins daily, it's, it will definitely be helpful for you to actually, you know, have a more healthier life. And of course, exercise as well. So combining all this, you know, we can only do our best to live as healthy as possible. Um, average cost of our genetic test, in, it depends. If it's for healthy people, um, for risk assessment test, it's around um, two to 3,000. And if it's for cancer patient, it's a very big range. So it depends on how complex is the test. So it can range from a few hundred ringgit to a few thousand ringgit. Yeah. Any more questions, anyone? So we can get the test from you as well, is it? Uh, yeah, you can get a test from me or you can get a test from, uh, I think some hospitals also, they are offering some tests. Not very comprehensive, but yeah, still have some tests. Okay, what is the average for people to get cancer if they eat healthy food? Well, it actually depends because um, 
like I said just now, right? So there are two types of uh, reason why you get cancer, right? One is hereditary. So if you are in, if you inherited certain kind of uh, mutations from your parents, that has already increased your risk of getting cancer, right? So your risk is actually elevated and it's much more higher as compared to a normal individual. Then uh, eating healthy, of course, it can actually help. But what's more importantly is that um, what are the precaution steps that you take? For example, uh, we just bring Lynch syndrome as an example again. So Lynch syndrome, actually, if you know that you have Lynch syndrome, um, you, can, you will actually know that it will create polyps in your colon it actually increases your risk of, you know, polyps growing in your colon. So, and if you don't do anything about it, you won't know why, because you won't know there are polyps in your colon, you know, if you don't go and do a uh, colos colonoscopy. So you still live like you are, like superhuman like that. But if you don't know about it, then you won't go and check. But if you know that you actually have this risk, you actually have this lynch syndrome, then, or, you know, uh, polypopsis, you know. So you actually go for colonoscopy and you remove the polyps so say every two years you go for colonoscopy then you remove the polyps so it actually uh, eliminates or diminishes your risk of getting colon cancer so eating healthy of course is one and of course all the other health screening that you need to do annually biannually you know those are the determining uh, factors that actually helps you to actually prevent cancer from happening well by by actually, the best thing is like say you know if you're after for, uh, after forty five years old, so whether you have um, any inherited disease or not, you still better to go for this kind of um, health screening every year, you know colonoscopy, endoscopy, you know mammograms. Yeah. Okay, so uh, okay, they are interested to know where is your clinic. <laughs> Uh, actually, we don't have clinic because we are a lab. So we work with all the hospitals in Malaysia and Singapore. Yeah. Okay. So what is the percent for people who are not inherited? Actually, the percentage of inherited is much lower. <laughs> so only about only about five to twenty percent of cancer are inherited. So that's good news, uh. <laughs> It's good news, and you. I would say that uh, most of the chance is because you, maybe I would say like in Cantonese talk, say law because of yourself law. You are the one who causing it. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, yeah. stress, I think stress is a very important factor. Stress, um, anger management, and of course your, your diet is very important as well. Hi. Yes. Uh, hi, Dr. Lee. Uh, can I uh, ask a question? Yeah, sure. Okay, recently, uh, one of my brother-in-law was diagnosed of uh, colon cancer and is about going uh, to have surgery soon. So, do you think he should do the genetic test before the surgery or after surgery? Um, what is the stage of the cancer, actually? Uh, stage one or two? Uh, stage one or two then actually is quite quite safe. You know, after the surgery, then uh, if you want to do a test, then it's also fine. Because if usually stage one or two, they may be able to remove the entire thing. Yeah, according to the doctor, he need to remove a section of the colon about uh, 15 cm <laughs> and join back, you know. Yeah. Uh, that is the, the removal of the affected part. Lah. Yes. So for mm. so after after he removed right, then mm. if he wants to get the the tumor tissue for a genetic test, which is actually recommended as well, because this oh. one you can you will what you will actually see the profile of the cancer, whether there are any notorious mutations that have occurred, you know if there are then the cancer may come back. Oh, yes. that means uh, before the surgery, we shall let the doctor know that after the surgery, we want the tissue to be sent for the genetic test, is it? Well, you can actually suggest it to the doctor. Uh -huh. they, uh, uh, we want to do the surgery, but then we also want to do a genetic test on the tissue of the cancer. Oh, I see. 
Okay, thank you. From, um, depending on which hospitals uh, your brother is in, so I think mm -hmm. most of the hospitals, they, they also have the genetic test as well. Oh, he actually uh, will be performed the surgery in the government hospital. Mm. Mm. Government hospital, government hospital uh. then maybe they don't have that. Oh, so can he done, after the surgery, can he done at the private hospital? But he already have a biopsy, right? A tissue biopsy? Yes. yes. Yeah, then he can just use the tissue biopsy to do the genetic test. They don't need the, don't need the whole tumor already. Uh, what do you mean by because he already done, but the tissue was collected by uh the 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 government hospital, isn't it? Yes. So, so, so we can actually get the tissue and mm. send it to a lab for genetic testing. Oh, we can request the tissue from a government yes. hospital and send for the lab test. Yeah, you can request the because they have actually made it into a FFP block. They have preserved it in a block. Yeah. 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 So okay. you can actually get this block and send to any lab for genetic testing. I see. Okay, thank you for your information. Yeah. Okay, okay, I think there's another question here. For the younger generation, how will they know if they are suffering from cancer? If they don't smoke, drink, alcohol, etc., and it is not inherited? Um, for the younger genetic? generation, um, there are only two incidents. Uh, if it's one, is the leukemia in children. Leukemia is more common in children. And then another one is brain cancer, so also in children. So the reason why uh, leukemia and brain cancer are more common in children is because children are still growing and, they, and their cells are multiplying much more aggressively. So when they are multiplying much more aggressively, then there's a chance that mistake will occur. So that's why brain cancer and leukemia are more common in children. So uh, they don't smoke and they don't drink also, but then still they will they will get leukemia or brain cancer so have to be very careful for this mm. so this genetic testing is a one time off or do we have to keep doing it uh it depends on the purpose if it's for risk assessment then it's just one time because it's remember just now the slide is in every cells of your body so you are carrying it out throughout your whole life so just do one time then you can actually know whether you inherited any possible uh, genetic alterations but if it's for cancer patient then it's uh, you have to do multiple times because when you start treatment based on the genetic test recommendation then uh, it can it can change you know the mutation can change because your cancer cells are also trying their best to avoid being killed then they will they will start changing become more mutated or become resistant yeah so that's why you have to also be outsmart them you have to outsmart them by keep checking what what changes you know have they occur and then you have to change your treatment so cancer is a long-term battle so yeah we always try to outsmart cancer okay Okay, understand. So Patrick asks, does your company has lab in Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia? Uh, we have we have lab in Malaysia, and in Indonesia we have our distributor over there. Singapore okay. also we do that because it's so basically we just ask anyone that have genetic testing and can go and do that lah. It's yeah, I think because now uh some hospitals they oh, Singapore definitely the hospital will have genetic tests. Right. Indonesia, not so, but, you know, we have distributor over there, so we can send over here. Uh, Malaysia, I think, few big hospitals also, they have um, generic tests. Because now, you know, they think very cool. All right. So, I, okay, uh, can I have your lab address and website? Lab address, uh, website is... Uh, This one is our website. Okay, so if you're interested to learn more on uh, Dr. Lim's website and lab or anything, you can go to this website that she has typed in the chat. Okay, and then y'all can learn more. Okay, so once again, I think we really have to thank Dr. Lim for sharing her time and her, her knowledge here with us. I think we all really benefit a lot from her sharing. And I know for once that our Powder Diamond, Edwin, always when 
discuss with uh, Dr. Lim, always tell us the importance of genetic testing now that she knows about it. Uh. So yes, I think uh, Mother Diamond Edwin really want us all to be healthy and really working hard to maintain this health as well. So like Dr. Lim said, it's, cancer is a very smart uh, disease and also a very sad disease. Uh. So don't waste what we have learned today and apply it to our health management as well. So thanks once again. Let us put 888 for Dr. Lim in the chat to really thank her for her time. Thank you. Okay. And with that, uh, I would like to invite our very beautiful and capable uh, leader from Singapore, Casey, to do a closing. Let us put a 111 and welcome Casey. Hello, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much. Um, Dr. Lim, for your time and effort in explanation, in explaining everything and make it so simple. More, it's so interesting to understand because sometimes I understand it's not easy to put a very complicated subject, you know, to simplify it so that the masses can understand. Yeah, I'm sure all of us have uh, benefited. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very thankful and honored that uh, Founders Diamond Edwin uh, gave me this opportunity to do the closing. Yeah. And uh, of course, Dr. Lim, we can't thank you enough for your time and your knowledge yeah, shared to us. Yeah. So I think I'm one of the, maybe one of the, the clients to do the genetic testing soon. <laughs> because, uh, well, unfortunately, my family, um, my mom actually passed on because of uh, lung cancer. And then a few of my aunties die of different form of cancers. Yeah. So I'm sure I'm in the uh, so-called the high-risk group. Yeah. So I think I should get the genetic uh, testing done soon and I shall ask my sister to come along. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you very much again, Dr. Lim. Yeah, so interesting. I look at your slides, you know, I'm so impressed, you know. I know it's a very complicated subject, you know, and you make it so easy to understand, you know. So interesting. Thank you again. Okay, I'm sure all of you has, um, you know, benefited uh, just flowers, uh, you know, a virtual clap. You know, it's not enough. If you want, you can unmute and give Dr. Lim a, a, a big clap. You know, so good. Thank you so much. Right? <laughs> yeah, okay. It, anyway, so as uh, mentioned by Dr. Lim, you know, eating healthily, you know, try to manage your stress level. Yeah, nobody is stress-free free, unless he's six feet under. Yeah, everybody has stress. Yeah, so we have to manage our stress. Of course, exercise is one of them. That is why we have this Sunday exercise every Sunday 9 to 10 in Zoom, you know, even though it's virtual, but for us, uh, those who are regulars, we have benefited a lot, yeah, uh, you know, 45 minutes workout and then plus cardio, okay, and then of course, uh, we have this fantastic program started by our late uh, Diamond Janet, yeah, of course, with the support of Diamond Edwin, we have Fat to Fit program, yeah, which, uh, you know, uh, educate us, to eat healthily, to go for fat management. I wouldn't say weight management, fat management, yeah, and regular exercise plus all the education that we gain through this platform. And of course, like um, Dr. Lim mentioned nowadays, our diet, yeah, we can't really get 100% nutrients from a regular diet. Yeah, I'm one of them because I do eat sinfully. I like my dessert. Yeah, so that is why I do believe we are very blessed that we are in this platform and then, you know, we are in this business, yeah, um, partnering with the giant, uh, Neutralite, okay, and uh, we get a lot of health benefits through the uh, uh, nutritional supplements from Neutralite company, all right, of course, it's the, the so-called, the, uh, the company is Mway, yeah, Neutralite is a subsidiary, okay, anyway, so, so everybody gain a lot of knowledge tonight. So all we need to do, set our goal, you know, not only to eat healthily, but stay happy. Okay. And also, of course, exercise. Okay. Exercise is very, very important. Yeah. It can be any form of exercise. Yeah. Can be yoga, can be cardio, but the best is combination. Uh, yeah. So spend a bit of money, go for yoga class. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. That's what I'm saying. Because I benefited a lot from yoga class. Yeah, for my for myself, a senior citizen, yeah, I must say the flexibility at least is there. You know, but anyway, 
um, before we end the session, right? And I want to thank everyone, you know, for attending for your attendance tonight. And of course, at the end of the month, 29 of November, we have another awesome speaker, Dr. Lo, who will come on board to share with us. All right. So stay tuned. Okay. And of course, next week, we have another awesome speaker to share with us. Okay. We will keep you in suspense. It will be announced later on. Okay. So anyway, thank you very much again, Dr. Lim. And thank you, everyone. Okay. I pass it back to the host. Bay. thank you. Okay, thanks again, Casey, for such a wonderful closing. Okay, so like she said, uh, we'll keep you in suspense for next week's episode, but it will be very beneficial and I'm sure everyone will learn a lot as well. Okay, so once again, we thank Dr. Lim for sharing her time and her knowledge here with us again. And of course, thanks to Casey and of course our founder, Diamond, Edwin and Late Janet, for providing such a great teaching and platform for us here. Let us all put an 888 and... Let, uh, also, thanks everyone for learning together along with me tonight. With that, I would like to end tonight's session and to, uh, we will see you again next week, 8.30pm. Thank you and have a good night. Thank you, Dr. Lim. Thank, Thank you, Casey. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thank you, good night. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye.